Kurt Schwitters, 1887 to 1948. Dislocated Forces, Mertz Picture, 1920. The artist assembled expired admission and transport tickets, used postage stamps, a fragment of a headline, and many other items to make this work. These are worthless and inoperative, used and sometimes broken relics from everyday and consumer life. Schwitters attaches new meaning to these items with his work. The picture was made shortly after the end of the First World War. As the title states, the war dislocated forces. Everything that had previously been considered good, true, and beautiful had become suspicious. Schwitters belonged to the Dadaists, a group that wanted to make provocative rather than eye-pleasing work. Looking back on the time when he made the picture, he wrote, But then the entire farce that people referred to as war was over. I left my job without any notice whatsoever, and that was when it all began. That was when things really began to brew. I felt liberated and had to cry out to the world with joy. In the name of frugality, I used whatever I could find because the country was impoverished. It is possible to cry out using scraps from the garbage, and that's what I did by gluing and nailing them together. Everything was broken anyway, and it made sense to build something from the shards. The radiating and diagonally arranged fields of dark color provide an artistic ground. This foundation creates an impression of the dynamism of that time, and it is simultaneously reminiscent of the visual code of cubism and futurism. The artist made the frame for the artwork himself. It has been assembled without any special care using crude roof battens painted black, and it suits the image well. However, it is not especially suitable as a frame that adds value to an artwork. With his collage, the artist succeeds in creating an unconventional but very accurate representation of his epic. Visit the Museum of Fine Arts Bern and see the original works. And download the free app Museen Bern from the App Store.